You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. We begin tonight with breaking news. Reports of multiple tornadoes as powerful storms race through the bi-state. But would it surprise you to learn that you need a license to go fishing in the state of Missouri, but not to become an armed guard? Vivian has spent a lot of time here on the ninth floor of St. Louis Children's Hospital, and most of that time has been in isolation. It can get very expensive, especially when St. Charles has to bring in contracted snow removers to help plow the streets during the big snow events. Columbia, Missouri got hit harder than our area. From downtown St. Louis. And despite today's gray skies and a little bit of rain, people came from all over to mark the occasion. And at 11 o'clock this morning, the city remembered the moment when that final piece was put in place. We get their story from our friend Mike Bush from our NBC station KSDK in St. Louis. And joining me now is the only broadcaster in television history to win Emmys in news, entertainment and sports, Bob Costas. Thanks for joining us, Bob. And joining me now is Senator Claire McCaskill. And joining me now in studio is St. Louis Police Chief Sam Dotson. The camp has meant so much to so many kids that when they grow up, they come back as volunteers. And they point a finger at Judge Ronald Brockmeyer. Brockmeyer, who is a St. Charles attorney, would not respond to the DOJ report. But he told me by email, as a judge, I'm unable to respond, but if you would like to bring your camera into the courtroom and record and see what really takes place, I would welcome that. Well, last November, we did just that. Stan Kroenke certainly isn't the only developer to get TIF money, but we wanted to talk to him for this story. He hasn't talked to the local media in years, so it was not surprising that he did not respond to our calls and emails. A massive complex of high winds, dangerous lightning and large hail hit several communities near the heart of St. Louis. We have video of what appears to be one of those funnel clouds forming in St. Charles County. This is near the intersections of Highway 94 and 364. News Channel 5's Jennifer Meckles is in that area. She'll have a live report in just a few minutes. Meanwhile, here's that? another image of a funnel cloud forming in St. Louis County. News Channel 5 viewer Carl Winkleman lives in Sunset Hills. He took this photo looking north and east from his home. It appears to be a wall cloud possibly producing a funnel just before 9 o'clock tonight. And another image of a funnel cloud as it started to form in Pike County. This photo comes from News Channel 5 viewers Rusty and Kalen Olson. A trained spotter says this funnel cloud eventually produced a tornado that hit the ground. Check out the skies earlier this evening near the intersection of Interstate 70 and 370. Amanda Wide sent us this video of threatening clouds forming in that area. The Missouri Highway Patrol closed that intersection because of heavy rain. It reopened about 10 minutes later. 